cigarettes, cigars, chewing tobacco. These days, there are two ways a consumer can purchase tobacco products in Ontario, and they are as different as night and day. A consumer must ask for the cigarettes by brand name, and before the purchase is rung through, the shop clerk asks for identification if the person appears to be younger than 25. Some stores even have point of sale registers that prompt the clerk to ask for ID. Please provide photo ID for your purchase. And with good reason. A store can be shuttered if it's found selling age-restricted products to those who are under 19. For example, when consumers visit a corner store to buy legal cigarettes, they are purchasing a product that is highly controlled. Convenience stores cannot openly display cigarettes or tobacco products. Anyone under 25 years of age is asked for ID. And tobacco is taxed, which contributes billions of dollars to the provincial treasury. But there is another way to buy tobacco products in Ontario, illegally. These cigarettes are made on native reserves and sold either on or off reserves to non-natives, a direct violation of the law. No taxes are collected from the sale of these cigarettes, depriving the government of billions of dollars in tax revenue. Even worse, young people can buy cigarettes without showing ID. This directly encourages young people to smoke. The end result is there is a contraband tobacco business and it's big business. In Ontario alone, it is estimated the provincial and federal governments lose anywhere between 1.1 billion to 2 billion in annual revenues due to unpaid taxes. And it's not the Boy Scouts running the contraband tobacco trade. The RCMP has identified more than 175 organized crime groups involved in the contraband tobacco business. Or, uh, like we haven't had no complaints over there. With anything out here, it's not made by a government control company. Okay. So like you can get one that's really good, the next batch can be not that great. But okay. that's, that's what you get when you pay, when you don't pay for a company that controls everything. Gotcha. Limit them that I can buy, or no, you, you can buy as many of those you want. Oh, okay, okay then. You want to try one? There's some that have been over there. Oh, all right. Well, you know what? I, I'll buy this pack and uh, see what it's like, and then you know. For starters, tobacco products are openly displayed. Smoking inside the store is allowed. Right. Sure. Free samples are there for the taking. And this one is a full flavor. Gifts are du rigueur, as are volume discounts, but most distressing of all, minors, the very people the tobacco laws are meant to protect, are some of the biggest customers in the contraband market. We asked an 18-year-old mystery shopper to try and purchase cigarettes from stores on the reserve. As you can see, he was not challenged to produce ID. We witnessed other young people enter the store and purchase cigarettes, also without being asked for proof of age. To be honest with you, to be frank, we're being slaughtered. We cannot compete with it uh, on a legal form, and uh, we do our best, but we, it's just a new and growing market, and it's not something that we have the ability to compete with. The way to tackle this issue is, uh, there are several ways actually. I would increase enforcement. I would let the provinces and the municipal police services, I would increase and toughen the laws up to allow them to uh, provide greater enforcement, more effective enforcement, and indeed I would look at best practices. And one of the best practices right now is seen in the province of Quebec, who have increased their laws against contraband tobacco to include the provincial police and the municipal police and allow them to investigate, seize the cigarettes, investigate the crimes themselves instead of turning it over to the RCMP or revenue officers, prosecute the cases themselves, which gives a bigger buy-in to those police services that get involved, and indeed uh, even some of the fines of, that, uh, of the cases that they pursue are kept by the municipalities, which would really bring a buy-in to the municipalities, the cities, the provinces to get further involved because they'd have more powers and more incentive to deal with the problem. The citizens of Ontario have the right to expect that we are all treated equally under the law, 
The way to stop illegal cigarette sales is to apply reasonable taxes on cigarettes and convict those who are selling cigarettes to non-natives. The combination of policy and enforcement is the only solution to the current lawless trade in illegal cigarettes.